This is Josh Sharfstein with an extra message today, July 16th, 2020. For more than four months, a team at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health has produced the Public Health On Call podcast, more than 100 episodes in total. We've been overwhelmed by the response, more than 1.5 million downloads to date. We started this podcast to bring evidence and experience on a wide range of critical questions about the COVID pandemic to a broad audience. We have interviewed virologists such as Dr. Andrew Pekosh, policy experts such as Dr. Tom Inglesby, scholars of race and equity such as Dr. Lisa Cooper, clinicians such as Dr. Rick Redette, and public health leaders such as Dr. Jernay Khaldun, as well as many, many others. We started this podcast because we believe that evidence and experience matters. This week, We've seen an extraordinary series of actions reflecting a different perspective, the perspective that evidence and experience does not matter. In just the last few days, the White House has distributed misleading information to undermine Dr. Anthony Fauci, the head of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases at the National Institutes of Health, and one of the most respected scientists in the world. Also in the last few days, the leading spokesman, for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has repeatedly disparaged the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, our nation's leading public health agency. In other words, the administration is now publicly questioning the credibility of the top U.S. experts on pandemic response, the very people with the skills and knowledge to provide life-saving direction to the nation and to develop treatments and vaccines for us all. In 1947, Albert Camus wrote this in his book, The Plague, about a bacteria that causes bubonic fever. What's natural is the microbe. All the rest is a product of the human will, of a vigilance that must never falter. Nearly 75 years later, we find ourselves in a battle of life and death. It is not a battle of Democrats versus Republicans. It is not a battle of public health versus the economy. The battle is humanity versus the virus. More than 575,000 people around the world have died, including more than 135,000 Americans. To save lives, we need science. We need public health. We need to respect evidence and learn from experience. And our vigilance must never falter. Thank you.